so in order to get it in the Kelsey part you can write down minus 180 plus 90 90 I'm shifting in the LHS part that is your 90 alpha equal to you will get uh, minus tan inverse of shift tan inverse of 0 0.5 into alpha alpha means alpha x you have to take in the Kelsey part okay bracket close minus shift tan inverse of 0 0.05 see here 0 0.05 alpha alpha into alpha x bracket close shift solo you will get value 6.63 .63, you are getting 6.32 so omega c is equal to 6.32 is the phase cross work frequency you will also get it in the graph which later on i will show you so you have to take for different values omega 0 0.1 here 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 variety of values you have to take for the completion of the graph actually so see here in the graph itself we are taking the different values of omega here 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 so that we can draw a smooth curve so for that purpose you have to take these values later on i will show you you will uh, get the clear image about the graph so first of all let's take these values one by one but I will show you one value, the rest part is yours, how to calculate. So see here, minus 90 minus tan inverse, shift tan inverse of 0 0.5 times into, what you are taking omega value, 0 0.1, it is the trial method, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, so 0 0.1 bracket close, minus shift tan inverse of 0 0.05 into omega, omega you are taking 0 0.1, huh? 0 0.1 bracket close you will get the value minus 93 degree so minus 93 degree over here so 0 0.2 accordingly you will put 0 0.2 here 0 0.2 here you will get 96 degree 0 0.3 minus 99 like that you go on and take the different values for omega 1 2 3 why i have taken up to 7 only just because i am taking omega c is equal to 6.32 which i already calculated so that you will get idea how much how many values i have to take so you have to stop between 6 and 7 between 6 and 7 you will get the phase crossover frequency so stop up to 7 and further you have to take 10 20 50 100 uh, whatever you will take it is according to your own convenience so that we will get the smooth grow at the graph so now it is the time to proceed for the graph how to draw the graph over there okay so now in order to understand the graph first of all let's have a look on the table what we have got in this minus 20 slope minus 40 minus 60 fine so you have to draw this in the board plot but remember one thing dear friends when you are drawing the negative slopes you should always remember this line is having a positive slope and this line indicates the negative slope okay so so as you know already by the definition that is tan inverse is dx by dy you know already the tan definition is dx by dy okay this is again a dx by dy when you calculate dx by dy you don't have to calculate but i am telling you that this line represents is the uh, negative slope and this line represents is the positive slope over there okay but in this problem we are getting negative slopes that is mi minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 okay right so try to start from the positive values first 60 40 20 okay in order to get negative slopes so that line is you have to draw 20 line and 40 line and 60 line it always meets at this uh, one radian per second okay and zero decibel line zero decibel line in the board plot is the reference line you have to draw the line first that zero degree uh, sorry zero zero line when you draw this becomes your reference line for the magnitude plot okay number one number two when you have to draw these lines of slopes minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 try to mark from positive values 60 40 last value is 60 that is why i am taking 60 40 20 and draw lines in this fashion so that it will meet zero degree line zero degree refer reference line at one radians per second it will always always meet at one radians per second at zero degree this is your 20 line just proceed it then 40 degree line just proceed it 60 degree sorry 60 slope line just proceed it with the zero reference line this is the second point now <clears throat> in order to draw the magnitude plot okay so you have to check now magnitude plot so in order to get the magnitude plot first of all have a look on this first step that is zero degree state of zero degree line at 20 log 2 that is 6.02 so you have to take one shift from this zero reference line up to 6.02 value see here if this is 0 to 20 how many uh, each line is 
फोर डेसीबल्स ओके फोर फोर एट ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी सो ईच लाइन इज फोर डेसीबल्स सो हियर आई एम गेटिंग फोर फर्स्ट लाइन देन इन बिटवीन फोर एंड एट देर विल बी सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू जस्ट टेक ए रेफरेंस लाइन सी आई विल शो यू हाउ टू ड्रा सो सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू एज इट इज अ शिफ्ट सो आई कैन टेक हियर दिस फर्स्ट ईच लाइन इज फोर डेसीबल्स सो इन बिटवीन फोर एंड एट यू विल गेट सिक्स लाइन ड्रा स्ट्रेट लाइन यू विल गेट दिस लाइन दैट इज कॉल्ड द शिफ्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी लॉग टू ट्वेंटी लॉग टू इज इक्वल सिक्स डेसीबल्स दिस इज वर अनदर लाइन नाउ यू हैव टू शिफ्ट these 20 and 40 and 60 lines on the uh, particular this shift over here okay which we have drawn here right so you should use here the roller scale dear friends see what is the slope that is minus 20 where it is touching omega c is less or equal to 2 so two radians line it is uh, connected now onwards in the previous uh, another step so this is your 20 line beginning beginning 20 line is here itself now you have to draw parallel line parallel line which is meeting at 20 radian sorry 2 radians per second so you will draw a line it will meet at 2 radians per second as in the uh, what we call table itself it is mentioned zero is less or equal to omega less or equal to 2 so it is minus 20 then minus 40 is meeting at it is starting fra from 2 and uh, ending at 20 so starting from 2 you had to draw the parallel line of 40 this is the previously drawn 40 line which is meeting at 0 decibel so you have to draw a parallel line proceed it parallel draw the line which is uh, starting from 2 and ending at 20 decibels this is your 20 line okay sorry 20 decibels not this is the 20 radians so it is touching at 20 radians per second okay then another one is 60 line see here this is 60 line it is starting from 20 and ending at infinity so starting from 20 i have to take parallel line to this 60 line when you proceed it this is your 60 line when you just proceed you will get the parallel sorry it's not moving parallel let me fix it first it's fine then you have to draw this line as pa uh, parallel to 60 line okay it meets at infinity so no need to space by he over here so this is all about the magnitude plot how to draw magnitude plot okay so next part is the phase 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 plot over here so let's take the different angles as i have draw here the in the previous table why i have taken these values now you will clearly understood understand this concept so at 0.1 minus 93 degree 96 99 105 five. so i will start from the 90 degree itself so minus 90 minus 120 minus 150 minus 150 minus 180 minus 210 minus 240 minus 270 270 up to that value i have to taken i have taken these values now in order to draw check here 0.1 minus 93 degree so 0.1 is here in the semi log sheet <coughs> first of all let me discuss this distance is called the decade in the previous video also i have discussed this this is called the decade these diff, uh, distances this is again called a decade again decade so it's always starts from 0.1 this is 10 raised power 0 is nothing but 1 over here 0.1 up to 1 1 up to 10 that is 10 raised power 1 10 up to 100 so this is 10 then whatever the values are here specified you will accordingly go here 10 12 13 14 15 like like that you will get uh, up to 100 sorry this is 20 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 up to 100 then 100 up to 1000 100 200 300 400 like that it will go on okay in the horizontal axis you have to mention the frequency in radians per second and in the uh, vertical portion you have to draw the magnitude plot already over now we have to deal with the phase angle plot see here this is 0.1 minus 93 degree so 0.1 is here and 93 will be somewhere here uh, as each line indicates the six uh, six value over here okay 90 uh, this is the distance between these two is 30 so each line is 6 6 plus 6 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 6 is 24 24 plus 6 is 30 so 30 units are the distance between these two so 0.1 is minus 93 you have to measure it so minus 93 will get somewhere here <clears throat> then 0.2 is minus 96 so 0.2 will be somewhere here fine i hope you are following 0.2 and 96 you will get somewhere here 
so same like you have to proceed for these values 0 0.3 minus 99 0 0.3 minus 99 whatever the values are mentioned in the table you have to draw accordingly the graph okay so by plotting these points then you have to draw a smooth curve by joining these all points whatever you are getting in the table so this you will get the phase angle plot okay so as in the question what is now mentioned <coughs> see here you have to determine gain margin phase margin omega gain crossover frequency and phase cro crossover frequency we are already getting phase crossover frequency in the table itself when i just do the kelsey part 6.32 so we know it so let us draw it first phase crossover frequency so you are getting it in between the 6 and 7 value is here 6 and 7 you get you will get 6.3 somewhere here it is meeting on the minus 180 reference line okay for the phase angle plot reference line is always minus 180 so it will come up here you should join this line when you join this line and meet it to the zero reference line okay so this you will get here gain sorry phase crossword frequency as 6.32 by measuring it also but no need to measure as you already as we already calculated in the previous step also okay so phase crossover frequency is equal to 6.3 radians per second okay so from phase crossover frequency you will get gain margin which we have to calculate here sorry in the question it is mentioned gain margin you have to calculate so by this line only uh, that is phase crossover frequency line you will get the phase margin see here the magnitude uh, magnitude plot where it is touching uh, below the this uh, zero reference line so that distance you have to take that is your gain margin okay <clears throat> so from zero reference line to the magnitude plot so uh, each line is already four four decibels already mentioned here four 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 in this direction also four 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 okay so how many lines i am getting one two three four four point five lines i am getting and each line is four so four point five into four you are getting 18 decibels okay see here 4.5 lines i am getting into 4 is equal to 18 decibels so gain margin is equal to 18 decibels right so when you are measuring gain uh, margin in the uh, upward direction so you will get negative gain margin when you uh, are measuring this in the downward direction you will get gain margin as positive okay so uh, you can write down next step this is all about the gain margin you can write down the results on the side itself okay so in order to get the gain crossover frequency the definition of gain crossover frequency is the magnitude plot where the magnitude plot is touching the zero reference line this is your magnitude plot where it is touching with the zero degree line that is your gain crossover frequency i hope you are getting so this uh, magnitude plot is touching the zero reference line at this particular point so draw a line here when you draw the line you will it will met at here so it is your one this is two value okay so two radians per second is your gain crossover frequency where it is touching now okay so definition is clear so where the uh, magnitude plot is meeting with the zero reference line so that is your gain crossover frequency so by gain crossover frequency you will get phase margin similarly in this step by phase crossover frequency you will get gain margin by gain crossover frequency you will get phase margin above the reference line and this phase angle plot you have to check the distance so how many lines i am getting one two three four five six 6.5 6.5 into each unit is 6 over here so 6.5 into 6 you will get 39 degree phase margin okay this is all about the board plot problem i hope this is clear so dear friends if you want to draw this uh, particular board uh, board plot uh, so i will make the separate video if you are not getting in this by explaining this part why i am just explaining in this particular fashion as i already told you i don't want to make uh, the videos very long as we are living in the park where everybody is just busy in the small videos or small reels you can say that they cannot watch they don't have such type of patience so that they can watch the one hour video okay it will take me a lot of time to draw this so i hope this is clear to you all people make sure you will comment down if it is clear if you have some queries if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section okay so thanks for watching my video